those guards, I'll see that every one of you hang. Haskell, get away. Done! The terrifying spectacle of stir-crazy convicts whose pent-up lust for vengeance crashes all restraint. Hardened criminals in a frenzied battle for power. Interesting facts about famous people. Great prison movies. Few other genres of movies contain as many versions of human drama, action, tension, aggression and frustration. The prison is an environment like any other. Today, let's take a look at some examples of the cinematic best. Not all, just a taste. If you like this video, I will follow up with more. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many, many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. The Green Mile, 1999. Director, Frank Darabont. A tale set on death row in a southern jail, where gentle giant, John Coffey, Michael Clark Duncan, possesses the mysterious power to heal people's ailments. When the lead guard, Paul Edgecombe, Tom Hanks, recognizes John's gift, he tries to stave off the condemned man's execution. Stars Tom Hanks, Michael Clark Duncan, David Morse, Bonnie Hunt. It's yours, John. You can do with it as you please. Yeah, this for deal and Mr. Jingles. Oh, John, that's so very fine of you. <laughs> I thank you. Mr. Jingle, thank you. My mama will thank you too, but she did. Yeah. The Shawshank Redemption, 1994. Director, Frank Darabont. Over the course of several years, two convicts form a friendship, seeking consolation and, eventually, redemption through basic compassion. Andy and Red's opening chat in the prison yard, in which Red is throwing a baseball, took nine hours to shoot. Morgan Freeman threw the baseball for the entire nine hours without a word of complaint. He showed up for work the next day with his left arm in a sling. Stars Tim Robbins, Morgan Freeman, Bob Gunton, William Sadler. Cool Hand Luke, 1967. Director, Stuart Rosenberg. Luke Jackson is a cool, gutsy prisoner in a southern chain gang who, while refusing to buckle under authority, keeps escaping and being recaptured. The prisoners admire Luke because, as Dragline explains it, you're an original. That's what you are. Nevertheless, the camp staff actively work to crush Luke until he finally breaks. Stars Paul Newman, George Kennedy, Strother Martin, J.D. Cannon. Nobody can eat 50 eggs. Escape from Alcatraz, 1979. Director, Don Siegel. Alcatraz is the most secure prison of its time. It is believed that no one can ever escape from it until three daring men make a possibly successful attempt at escaping from one of the most infamous prisons in the world. Stars Clint Eastwood, Patrick McGowan, Roberts Blossom, Jack Thebo. Stand guard while I dig. I'll stand guard while you dig. You two trade off the same way. Yeah. 
What are our chances? Slim. I'm in. Me too. Wanna go? King bulls count the counts. No one has ever escaped from Alcatraz. And no one ever will. Papillon, 1973. Director, Franklin J. Schaffner. A French convict in the 1930s befriends a fellow criminal as the two of them begin serving their sentence in the South American penal colony on Devil's Island, which inspires the man to plot his escape. Steve McQueen insisted on performing the stunt, where he jumps off the cliff into the water. McQueen once said that it was one of the most exhilarating experiences of his life. Dustin Hoffman had to wear corrective contact lenses so that he could see through the thick glasses he had to wear. Stars Steve McQueen, Dustin Hoffman, Victor Jory, Don Gordon. The Last Castle, 2001, director Rod Lurie. There are many great ways to tell stories about prisons, as shown by this list of vastly different films. But one surefire way to make things exciting is to put someone behind bars who's capable of extraordinary things. That's what happens in Rod Lurie's The Last Castle, which takes the hugely respected General Irwin, the incredible Robert Redford, and Court Martial Sin, placing him in a maximum security military prison. Stars Robert Redford, James Gandolfini, Mark Ruffalo, Delroy Lindo. Hill, 1965. Director, Sidney Lumet. With a long and illustrious career as an actor, Sean Connery was best known for being the first actor to portray James Bond on the big screen. Look further into Connery's career and you'll see that he was a heck of a lot more than Bond and was exceptional in films like Alfred Hitchcock's Mami. One of his best early performances came in 1965's The Hill, directed by five-time Oscar nominee Sidney Lumet. Stars, Sean Connery, Harry Andrews, Roy Kinnear, Ozzie Davis. Any recent incapacities? Well, I wouldn't brag about it if I had to. Roberts in this place. Chopper, 2000. Director, Andrew Dominic. Eric Banner was one of the busiest actors of the 2000s, starring in Hulk, Munich, Troy, The Time Traveler's Wife, and more but it was Banner's first starring role in a feature film that really announced him as an extraordinary talent, 2000's Chopper, where he exploded onto the scene as notorious criminal Chopper Reed. The film, directed by Andrew Dominic, uses flashbacks during one of Chopper's various lengthy prison sentences to trace his history and what made him such a notorious criminal. Chopper is punctuated by funny dialogue and shocking, brutal violence that delicately balances humour with a sense of crime drama. Stars Eric Banner, Vince Colosimo, Dan Wiley. Just hang on a second. Brubaker, 1980. Director, Stuart Rosenberg. Redford plays Henry Brubaker, a prison warden who goes undercover as an inmate of the small state prison of Wakefield in Arkansas. His goal is to help uncover the corruption that has weaseled its way into the facility like a parasite. What Brubaker finds is worse than he ever imagined, uncovering truly unfathomable conditions, torture, sexual assault, maggot-infested food, and more atrocities are uncovered. Brubaker reveals himself to be the new warden of the prison, which shocks everyone, but at least the healing can finally begin. Except, of course, things aren't that easy, and Brubaker finds himself going head to head with those who profit from the corruption at Wakefield. Stars Robert Redford, Morgan Freeman, Murray Hamilton, David Keith. King Rat, 1965, director Brian Forbes, taking place at a prisoner of war camp run by Japanese forces during World War II. King Rat is a fascinating look at the remarkable Corporal King, George Siegel, a wheeling and dealing inmate 
King seems to live by his own rules, conniving and manipulating everything in sight, while operating a black market enterprise that keeps him in great condition. Meanwhile, others at the camp struggle to survive the brutal conditions. Cruelty, beatings, torment and starvation. King will do whatever is necessary to keep his enterprise afloat, including breeding rats and selling the meat to other officers. Stars George Siegel, James Fox, Denham Elliott, Tom Courtney. Riot in Cell Block 11, 1954. Director Don Siegel. A rousing story about people who won't take it anymore. Follows the prisoners at a maximum security prison who riot for better living conditions. A unique approach to a prison drama. The film was practically a documentary in approach. Low budget, no stars, Folsom prison locations, inmates as extras. Despite the use of this style, the film is full of beautiful cinematography and an emotional story about people rising up against cruelty. As it's dedicated to portraying realism, the ending may leave a bitter taste in your mouth, but that speaks to the film's commitment to showing the real trials and tribulations that prisoners face. Stars Neville Brand, Emil Meyer, Frank Phelan, Leo Gordon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.